Five-star Tennessee offensive tackle commit Wanye Morris uh, committed to the Vols on May 1st. Other schools are coming after you. How solid are you to Tennessee right now? I'm still pretty solid, you know, because Tennessee is my school. I made that final choice. What is it about the, the volunteers that you like so much? Give me a few things. Uh, the family feel, you know, the atmosphere, the fans. You know, it just feels like family when I'm up there. You hear a lot of people talk about Tennessee's facilities. You've mm -hmm. been to a lot of schools. Mm -hmm. How do Tennessee's facilities compare to everybody else? I mean, they recently just updated, so their weight room's definitely top notch. Uh, and everything else has always been pretty good because no school is better, worse than the other. So You had been going there from when Coach Jones was there, correct? I haven't really been up there when Coach Jones was okay, up there. Okay, so just since Jeremy Pruitt's been there? Yes. Well, tell us what the vibe is like in Knoxville these days. A lot of energy, a lot of excitement. What you tell me? It's definitely a lot of excitement. They feel like they should do really good this year, you know? And I really like the, uh, the confidence and the effort they're putting in. Does what Tennessee, with what Tennessee does on the field this fall, does that matter to you at all? Or are you thinking, hey, I'm only worried about when I get there? I mean, of course, because I'm a committed to the school, so of course I'm going to worry about what they do now, but I mean, it's not going to really affect how I go into it. In other that, words, wins I, and losses, if, if they have, just let's just play devil's advocate, if Tennessee doesn't have a great season, mm -hmm. you're saying that wouldn't impact your oh, status at no, all? No, that wouldn't impact me at okay. all, because when I get there, it's a different story. Uh, what do you think about your chances for early playing time in Knoxville? I mean, I feel like if I work hard enough, I can start. That's just how I feel. No, no promises of a job. No you got, you got to get there and no, work, huh? You got to work regardless. Have the coaches? I guess Will Friends, the offensive line mm -hmm. coach at, at Tennessee, formerly of the, of the Georgia Bulldogs, has he given you anything to work on? Has he said, "Hey, want, in your conversations with him, hey, Juan, yeah, you know, you're a great player, but you know, have you thought about doing this or doing that? Has he given given you any tips? Uh, not really, because I feel like I could critique myself more than anybody else does. Because I feel like, like, say, I need to get my feet faster, I need to gain more weight, lose more weight, get stronger. I always critique myself. Well, what, what is your height and weight right now? Six six three oh eight. Uh, with Tennessee, you know, so many people talk about Jeremy Pruitt's recruiting success. Right. But tell us a little bit about your relationship with Will Friend. What kind of guy is he? I mean, he's a really good dude. You know, we talk on the, on the daily, you know. I mean, he wants you to get to know his kids a lot, too. So, like, you feel like you're really a family, like your brother, sister. So you don't just know him. You know his family. Oh, yes, What yes. do you think of them? I mean, they're really good people. They're really good people. They're fun to be around. And they're busy, definitely. All right, last question about Tennessee. You've seen their schedule. Mm -hmm. Actually, a couple more. What, what games are you going to up there? Uh, definitely the Florida game. That's all, I, okay. that's all I know right now. You've looked at their schedule, I'm right. sure. What's the record going to be? Let's get your prediction on the Vols right here. I'm going to put Oof. you on the spot. Uh, What's I don't reasonable? know. I don't okay, know. Well, let me ask you this. Can they get to a bowl game in year one? Definitely. I mean, God will. We get to the SEC Championship, National Championship. You feel me? But... Right now, we're going to get to a bowl game right now. A couple other schools coming after you. Tennessee, excuse me, coming after Tennessee, Clemson and Auburn. Let's mm -hmm. start with Clemson. They're a little bit newer on the scene. I guess they've always recruited you. Mm -hmm. But when you when you committed to Tennessee, you picked Tennessee over Auburn. So what has Clemson done? Uh, to? I mean, are you interested in them at all? You said they're pushing some. Uh, as a kid, uh, Clemson has always been my dream school. So... That always plays that really, really plays a factor right there, you know. How often are they talking to you right now? Oh, they text me every day. Wh which coaches? Coach Caldwell, Coach Khan, who's just recently here. Okay. And that's really much it. You have not officially visited Clemson. No. Will you officially visit Clemson? Maybe it's in the it's in the speaking. Maybe or what do you think? Maybe I don't not, know. Not no definites. No definites. Right? Right now. You got it. What's going to be the determining factors? Uh, to if you officially visit Clemson or not, <laughs> my mom. <laughs> uh, Definitely, you got to talk it over with her. Would Definitely. you? Would you like to to visit there? I wouldn't mind. Okay, you've been there before though, right? Yeah, I have. Just not for an official. Not for official. Uh, what? Uh, so you grew up a fan of Clemson. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, that program has done great things the last few right. years. Do you, do you, and, you know, Mickey Kahn, who's the defensive backs coach there, used to be the head coach here. So you've got some connections there. Uh, what other things intrigue you about about Clemson though? Well, just definitely the area. I love the area. I have family in South Carolina, you know, and I just love Clemson. Okay. I just love Clemson. Well, Auburn finished second when you committed to Tennessee on May 1st. Mm -hmm. Is there a number two right now? Probably still Auburn. Still Auburn. It's a good fight between Auburn and okay. Clemson. Well, you've said you'd like to officially visit Auburn, too. Where mm -hmm. do things stand with that? Is that still I still, I think decision? I'm going to think I'm going to do it for the Tennessee game, actually. You think you're going to officially visit for the Tennessee game? Yeah. That's going to be uh, an interesting you know, game yeah. for you. You're a Tennessee fan, but you obviously are a Tennessee fan, Tennessee commit. Right. They're probably not going to let you wear Tennessee gear to oh, Auburn for that. <laughs> for that. Um, 
So what do you think it's going to be like that Saturday? And uh, you know, you like oh, both those schools a lot. It's definitely going to be hectic. You know, I know I'm gonna hear a lot of jabber in the ear. Definitely when I'm down there, but it's okay. You, you know, it's a it's kind of a fine line when you officially visit a school. You don't want to be rude to that school. Mm, right. So do, do you think it'll be hard for you to not cheer for Tennessee in the stands? You I know, mean, you, I'm always respectful. I was raised respectful. You know, that's the mom that I have. So I'm gonna be respectful in whose ever house I'm in. So Auburn's got a couple commits that are on your team here. One of them is Owen Papo. The other is Jakai Clark. Are they still in your ear about Auburn? Oh, definitely, definitely. What does Owen say to you? Wanye wore eagle, you know. We be talking about it almost every day. He was like, Wanye, you need to come on, make that move, bro. Does it have any impact on you at all? Or is it at the end of the day, I, mean, I still got to do what's best for me? Playing with my friends would be nice. I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me none. You know, but we all have our separate paths that we got to take. You've taken how many officials so far? Just two. Just, just, okay, so it was who and who? I know Tennessee, but who was Tennessee, the other one? LSU. LSU. Auburn's getting one. Clemson may get one. Is there any other school out there that could potentially get one? Uh, I don't know. I have to talk that over with my mother. Okay. And then uh, ultimately, you're an early enrollee, right? No. You're not an early enrollee. Okay. Do you plan on signing in December? Yes. Okay. How hard realistically is it going to be for someone to flip you? I mean, you said it yourself. You love Tennessee. Your mom loves Tennessee. Right. It's not pretty hard because once me and my mom get our mom made up, it's pretty hard to flip it. All right. Five-star Tennessee offensive tackle commit, Wanye Morris.